almost killed myself. Guys! Oh! I just picked up the explosive! I almost killed myself! This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Oh, shit! <laughs> I can't see! So there was some side quests I did in the uh, precinct. I don't need to show those. They just had me carry a dude downstairs who was pissy drunk. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. There's two, still two more side quests, I guess, once we get down to the city. I say all that to say I got like two extra skill points I ain't had before the end of that last video. Y'all see me? came to clean up this city. Get your drunk ass the fuck away from me. It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Okay, so we could come and go as we please. I didn't know these things. Okay, so let me kind of roam the streets real quick. I'll be right back in a second because there's a side quest over there. Oh, crap. Give me back my money, you piece of shit. Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that, because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a I'm trying to tell you, bitch, you know who I am? Warrant? No goddamn warrants. All right, before we do that, guys, so I was able to get my skills for deduction up to, what is it, six out of 10? So now on the map, it will show some of the uh, chests and stuff. All right, before we go into the basement, let's, let's see what's going on here. No way this kid no 14 14 through 16 you know what he might be i can't see wearing this mask is like wearing beer goggles have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity are you kidding me half the things i've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade let us hear your statement no way dude he might be a douchebag but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Looks like someone should give you a slap on the wrist. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't do it. I know you. You don't hurt kids. You didn't even realize I whoop a kid's ass. You have to call Child Protective Services on me. I don't know what type of person you think I am. I'm already dead. I'm already a dead man. I'm a machine. I ain't got no morals. Beat your motherfucking ass in this arcade. Oh, this is kid. All right, they're talking about he got bloodshot eyes and all that. Have 
stuff back here. You he just you just got beards just sitting out. Like I can't that's not beard. What the hell is that? I'm tired of this. Here we go. Okay, I mean, can we just bust the, the walls and just just go in? I, I know I don't have a warrant. But let's. Oh, I didn't know you had such amazing. Let's see if he washed his nasty ass hands. Not one, but two of you. From now on, I promise I will cherish you more often. He's a nasty bitch. We got you in 4K. Not wash your hands, and now you're gonna touch every machines in it. Every machine. Dirty. And they need to clean this facility up. What are you doing in this bathroom? Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! You sound like... Blue Beans from... Is that Even Stevens? What show is that? Who's doing the... Who is that? Is this supposed to be... How old is this? I can't scan him to see how old he is. You ain't... Is that the old You in, in the arcade, in the bathroom, cooped up in that dirty-ass bathroom, on that stuff. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Yo, look at his feet! Yo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. My Golly, bro. All right. <laughs> it's Robocop. Surrender your weapons. No chance. I can't aim with these gloves, bro. These gloves are so slippery. Look at my health already. A little surprise for ya. Ah. Just look at me. I'm actually shooting the word. I have on the controller. Look, man. I'm doing the best I can. You hear me? Okay, Adam, before we go back there, I gotta make sure I look around the room. We gotta be thorough. We gotta be thorough because there's evidence in here. That's how we get our XP. Partially. This one. It's the fastest. Alright, let's start taking these into the next room. Okay. More XP for hit. Finally! This is definitely better than the other one. Get up. Where'd he go? Hand off! 
I want to say I'm really happy that uh, extreme difficulty isn't really that bad. Because if it was, but I'd be on this game screaming, hollering, and I don't feel like doing all that, man. But some of these missions have side objectives. Getting a certain amount of evidence and things like that. So you got to look out for that. And I guess there's also a secret room somewhere in here. else in here all right I think, I think we're okay I think Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way. Can't open up those chests, bro. Okay, come on. Thanks, man. Kind of bummed out the way they do the skill tree though it just seems like you don't really get the perks until you get all the way over to the node that has it so as i'm going through these three i don't think i get anything i don't think this makes my deduction go up i could be wrong but it just seems like you have to get to the specific node to get the benefits from it nerdy ass shit i just said but it is what it is bro else in here that I can investigate unless they're saying this because I got the code for this here it is One more. gonna just let me walk out of here I don't believe it I'm wrong they still let me walk out I can't see shit dude oh shit it's a metal freak you need to be taught some. You gotta wait until they pull their gun out before it'll let you pull yours out. Anything over here? Damn, 
down, son. Where'd you find this? All right. One thing I'll say. What the hell was that? I wish you could auto loot your arm. Who is this guy? I wish you could auto loot your um your ammo for your for your guns, but you got you gotta uh you gotta pick it up. Manually. Burn him up! Where is he? You can't see. Show him embrace the Get no heels in this mug, man. Dang. Give me the AR, yes, sir. Come on, no heels back here. They usually do. Why don't I see where? Right. Oh, he's all the way up there. All right, now how the heck do I get? Ain't no way y'all got all these little spots and no hills. Okay, now how do I get up there? I genuinely Hold on guys, I can't I can't see. Get back in here. Some steps right there. I couldn't even I'm telling you, it's hard as fuck. Hold on. Dang it. Okay. Coming for you. I got this big ass gun. Be something valuable, bro. Ain't no way. This whole section. All right, we're gonna make our way up. This is crazy. where the dude was sniping me from. He wasn't really sniping, but he was up top.
something over here with this wall. left. Why can't I see who's shooting? Where is he? Jump down the elevator. Okay, good. No fall damage. I thought there was because I, I thought I took fall damage earlier. Need a combination for those. And there is no combination sitting in here. Okay, grab the micro SMG. Cause the big, the big gun is, is over. The party's over. I'll torch you to a crisp! Come on out and say that to my face. I gotta get vitality level two. All right, we got another breach situation. All right. All right, we only got eight percent. Let it, let it breathe. I'm playing all cautious and shit. I know y'all seen that dude. We out. Oh my god. Those. Play it slow. There's still two more in here. There's a last one. I thought that would do it. Or shoot me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now the question is, how do I? How the hell do I get back there, though? Man, I can't see, guys.
All right, we got another breach. Thank you for the HP, finally. At the end of the damn thing, though. Wait for one of these forever. Incriminating pictures. Wait, what? Alright, it's on the other side of that door. There's a uh, a chest or something in there. Alright, so we got the big gun. Is there anything up here? Ain't nothing up here? Get out of here. Why is this section up here if there's nothing up here? Alright, whatever. Ready. Open the door. Oh wait, I thought it was gonna be a breach. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions. But uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Yeah, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. How about to blow your head off? And my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way... I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. Man, I don't care. I don't care, Pickles. Pickles, come on, come on, come on, Pickles. Come on, Pickles, come on. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it oh. turned out... Hey, bro. <laughs> that scared me. I made a pretty penny that day selling Pickles. Still have a couple. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer street on you. What they say. What was those steps from earlier? They were like right up. Guys. Were they up and to the left over here? Where was those steps? Yeah. Ain't no enemy sitting out here. Where's Pickles? Is he behind me? No, his stupid ass is just standing there. Please don't make me wait for this guy. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? 
Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though his missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. This must be a sack quest. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, but I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. Okay, uh... All this helps give me XP, so I gotta take all these. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny. <laughs> I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. <laughs> He's got the door slammed in his face like Denzel. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. 
An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction, that that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Salt of the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Okay, so, wait. And these. What else? Hold on. I saw something back here. I had no nuke in his house. We not had no drugs in his house, lady. That went pretty much as expected. Shut your ass we up. We're not done. We're not. You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. All right, let's get over get to, the to the basketball, basketball court real quick. Court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Like, trying to kick my ass. Why the dude, he walking slow as hell. He need to hurry his motherfucking ass up. That it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. Better excuse me. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. All right, there's a chalk trail, they said, over this way? I guess we're conducting an investigation. I had to wait until dude got there. Daniel! 
Come on, kid. Where are you? Should be somewhere. What's this? Same mission. All right, hold up. Shoe print size seven. That's got to be his. Yeah, for Kendrick Lamar's. <laughs> they threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. Take hey, away. What the hell? For what? Open. What the hell? Man, ain't shit going on over here, man. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. Right, I miss. I had to miss a clue. Better hurry. All right, got some gunplay over here. Come on. Do it. Come on. Ooh. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo, Daniel. Oh no, it's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Oh! Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know... Why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes... strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead, and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. 
You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you told my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Man, hell no. Nah. He impressionable as hell. Them kids he hanging with them. Get his ass in trouble. They all gonna be in jail with hey, that partner. bullshit. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. All right, now we got to get over to the old slaughterhouse. That little boy was back there with the gun shooting, bro. That is crazy. Okay, let's get there. This mission is longer than I expected. You know, no, sir. We got it. This is where Soap is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. All right, sound like we're about to have a boss fight. Hopefully the boss fights ain't too bad, because if they are, I'm going to have to take these damn gloves off. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get in there, then? Stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> uh, she said, ahead, damn, partner. the warrant. Ooh, a stench. Someone missed potty training. Okay. It's a little too quiet for me. How many skill points we got? We got any? Thought we had some, no? If Soot is such a great performer, We're close to one. Shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Why is it so goddamn quiet up in here? Wait. I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes, I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh shit! Pig Thunder Lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps.
Bro, he's so corny. Just ah! do it! I missed every bullet. I'm gonna kill myself. Guys! Oh. I just picked up the explosive! I'm gonna kill myself! <laughs> the unfortunate thing <laughs> is that they, they can shoot the explosives out of your hand. were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Thought I saw like a uh a collectible over here, no? Alright, there is something in that building over there. In that room over there. Alright, let's go. The way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Probable cause confirmed. I see a guy up there, but I don't see him no more. Where'd he go? Everybody that was up here. What? I'm gonna hit a bitch with a TV. there and look around before we leave if i can is there a ladder or steps down no there is not steps right here i might want to get that vitality level two at some point but i got to get the deduction all the way maxed out and then engineering we don't want to play the game two, three times. Hey there, Murphy. Behind you. Uh, up 
you get, big man. They're closing in on us. Why y'all do it? Definitely grab the detachable gun. Every time. All right, now was there anything at the Yep. Free XP, baby. We gotta do those. Man, get out of here with that Warren shit, man. He was just shot at us and all that. We said, how you still need a warrant for that? Shot to kill me, bro. And you tell me I need a warrant to open up a goddamn door? tell me they didn't even come up on my little um scanner you did. i've got eyes on the stage looks like they haven't realized we're here yet Sook's here get closer i'll support you from the balcony this music is driving me mad is that the point is it supposed to make you mad all right we can go down those steps
now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. Let's stay right there, everybody. Moisturize these golden vocal cords. In the he could have killed me. I'm a fucking celebrity. Anybody else in here? Hey. Weapon upgrade chip. I don't even know what any of that means. There's a, do you can upgrade your weapons on? I guess so. All right, I guess we gotta wait till we get to that part of the game to, to actually use it. I can still do this. I just need to concentrate. I can still do this. This can't be. Why can't I shoot? I had everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're going to get anything out of the talk... <laughs> That's quite a grip you got there! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> How do I interrogate him? I just start destroying stuff in here. Throw it at him. Oh, how about I kill you for this? No! Knock yourself out. That's not even mine. Hey, that stuff doesn't come cheap. No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! You hate me, brother? You hate me? Huh? I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead! Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us? So we can exchange partners. Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! 
can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Bro, why can't I, I can't see shit. Oh, her stuff. Well, I don't even know what I would do if this game may have uh, night vision, I'm telling you. That was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. I need some flu. I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? Who's that? What is going on? What's happened for? Eh? Is your battery drained or something? What? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? I'm trying. What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. No, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <sighs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a rider you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so. I think it's time to get back to business. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Oh, oh shit! Uh. Yo! I didn't think they was gonna do that. 
Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny. In that, you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? It is irrelevant how comfortable I am. It all contributes to your overall performance. I understand this is not an ideal situation and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer, then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a machine, built using OCP's finest technology, with the brain of a fallen officer, Alex Murphy. The best money can buy, from what I hear. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. <laughs> this is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed-209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. 
Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Robocop. What did I get? I did all of those. Damn it! So I got an A. And four skill points. Okay, what am I doing? I'll, I'll do that later. All What's done. this? Robo! There's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Here we go. All right, so I was finding those ships. Okay, this arrays spread and stuff like that. Penalty. This. Okay, chip murder. What does that mean? Oh shit. Okay. All right, I'll worry about that later. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay. Any news on Duis? Not yet. But she's been through worse. Okay, let's talk to the sergeant. Hey, Murphy. Do you have a minute? Hell nah, bitch. It's about Lois. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assume they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one too. A uh, police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your... shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops. Retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. 
His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. Ah, hi, Murphy. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back, type in who you're looking for, and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't Working make sure you check it. perfectly. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. Wait, wrong one. He's never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. Go kick ass for Lewis.